Today's ride was to Gundaroo Pub for lunch. So we took the Princess Highway and got down near Lake Conjola and made a right hand turn out to Pointers Gap and to the Pointers Gap lookout. The 493 metre high lookout has views from St George's Basin through to Borley Point. We left the lookout and headed back the same way we came, back down Pointer Gap Road and followed this road which is some bitumen and also some unsealed sections back down to the Princess Highway. There are a few kilometres of dirt on this section, but overall it's pretty easy quality. We've just shown a few of the harder pieces, but most of it is uh, much like you're looking at now. Back on the Princess Highway, we end up taking a shortcut which bypasses Milton and eventually Ulladulla as well. And so as you're coming into Milton, there's a right-hand turn called Krubyar Road. And Krubyar Road takes us through to Woodstock Road. And Woodstock Road and then Monkey Mountain Road are some dirt roads. Gundaroo is a quaint little town with a pretty decent pub and uh, when we got there a little early there wasn't many people there but it certainly started to pack out for lunch and we had a nice lunch there. From Gundaroo we took Mark Tree Road and this road starts off as pretty quality bitumen uh, and not too many kilometres in it turns to also good quality um, gravel or dirt. Um, some have had some re recent rains causing some r ridges, ruts in the road, a little bit of water and a lot of that rain has caused some damage to the road but overall the road's in pretty good condition, uh, much better than a lot of sealed roads with potholes. Sometimes I get the impression that Tony loves these puddles of water or pools of water that she flies through. The decision to take Mark Tree Road ended up being uh, a success for us because we weren't aware and we didn't know that we we're going to be, be stopping at this beautiful lookout that overlooks Lake George and the Federal Highway. We ended up passing our third lizard for the day, slowly meandering, crossing over the road without looking each way. Mark Tree Road eventually ends up being sealed again, winding down the mountain towards the township of Collector and joins back on to the Federal Highway. The other real highlight of this ride is of course riding one of New South Wales' top 10 roads and that would be the King's Highway from Batemans Bay up to Braidwood. 